Hi everyone, Zoltan here and in this video I want to show you what I'm working on and what's my plan for the future. So I have this 14-inch uh, uh, CRT display capable of 640 by 480 uh, with only 75 Hertz so it's, it's not the best, it's uh, pretty old and it's also dark. Um, and maybe I'm just... Uh, booting it up to show you how it works maybe it will be a little bit dark uh, I'm having this uh, 486k uh, showing the uh, CPU speed which is actually a 233 but yeah that's fine I have uh, 64 megabytes of EDO RAM and in MMX uh, CPU here small 6.4 uh, gigabyte hard drive floppy drive and it's not vintage but it's a nice LG DVD writer here and I'm running uh, Windows 98 which is ideal for for this uh, PC I guess I have tried DOS and Windows 95 and now I'm with uh, 98 I also have these unfortunately USB plugged uh, little speakers but I'm fine with this uh, USB hub on Windows 98 and this is a very retro uh, type of uh, keyboard uh, without uh, the Windows buttons and it's a Hungarian uh, layout and I have many games here I tried uh, most interesting might be the OT 2004 which actually runs on this PC I will show you it's amazing so I have a lot of floppies here most of them are working and I will test them out because I have some very very uh, interesting ones for instance this is some kind of a game Chinese or Japanese with uh, pink floppies so well white ones blue ones some some really special looking uh, floppy disks and um, what I'm playing at the moment is Imperial Galactica 1 uh, amazing game I have some issues with sound but I can use DOSBox as well and, and it's running fine and also one of my favorites is Pharaoh uh, Cleopatra in a package awesome and basically I had this computer with a 100 megahertz uh, a Pentium one and I tried all of these games but even Pharaoh and Age of Empires one which requires a 90 megahertz CPU just uh, lowest settings it's very laggy so I haven't found any game that would were actually playable uh, on Windows those games uh, not texting ones were were actually pretty great but great but quick yeah, it was too demanding. Doom was okay, S more or less. Also, Duke Nukem, I could say, uh, okay. And I have many nice uh, cooler here, uh, cables, uh, screws, and stuff. I will upgrade the keyboard for to this uh, very nice compact Q, uh, more modern keyboard with PS2, which is great because I'm also having this uh, cable for uh, the Pentium 1 and I can use PS2 and I have this very strange adapter which is uh, for uh, I can use this older serial mouse but uh, you know scrolling impossible moving uh, more or less because it has the ball in and clicking oh well, it's not responsive anymore so I have this new really cheap trust mouse which actually great but using USB so why am I just use this right now? I'm using a USB 2 uh, expansion card. Um, this one because it's working with uh, uh, Windows 98 pretty well, giving me three uh, USB ports, two in the back and one inside, which is very strange. I don't know why I want to use it, but yeah. So I'm reading the, the keyboard as well. Um, okay, so this is uh, almost very very similar motherboard as I'm having here um, which uh, is actually not working because it had a lightning 
bolt issue here and also I have this BIOS chip it was just smoking when I turn it on so yeah it's a longer story because I'm tested this BIOS chip in a different board and it was okay with it but started to yeah okay so this is not working either RAM uh, some PCI and ISIS ISO slots basically the same as uh, the one in the PC itself only just the keyboard connection and yeah I will store this motherboard but unfortunately it's not working also I'm worried set because I wanted to test this motherboard which would be really great with the MMX uh, support uh, and I could use SD RAM so I could upgrade uh, basically from 64 EDO to uh, 256 uh, SD RAM which would be cool but this board stops at uh, verifying DMI uh, without any drives plugged um, and I just can't pass it so I just can't access the floppy drive either to update the BIOS or anything so I'm stuck with this board I would need a, C, uh, a BIOS replacement and it would help and um, I tried this BIOS and another one uh, which actually running in this board but not supporting the RAM uh, totally only just uh, one chip on each 64 megabytes so and cannot access the floppy either so I cannot upgrade which is uh, sad um, this was the card uh, come in this PC the S3 3064 uh, very nice card for 2D but it's impossible to run uh, yeah, 3D games and I have many many little stuff here this was the sound card in it but now I'm using a slum blaster uh, card I'm not sure which one actually um, yeah Symbols is 64, maybe or something, and there is an other a little SIM card here and um, serial expansion may be useful. And this is just amazing a SIM Blaster 64 with many many stuff on it, and an awesome ISO card. And I'm hoping that I will use this as a DOS uh, 612 uh, PC and. I will run very old DOS games with sound issues, you know, Lion King, Aladdin, and, and so on. And this card will be absolutely compatible. I'm really happy of having it. It's, it's a really nice one. Um, and what else? So basically, this computer will be the DOS PC. I think it's maxed out MMX. Um, and I will have this nice sound card. And oh, actually, I'm having an. S3 watch 2 megabyte here um, and it's uh, it's horrible it's the DX card it's capable of running 3D Mark 99 with an absolutely horrid uh, graphics um, and the second test is, is failing so if I find it uh, 2D Mark 2000 is not working it requires 4 megabytes and also all the games, uh, OpenGL is not supported with any driver, so I wasn't able to run it at all. I'm using software for all the games, and yeah, as you can imagine, it's uh, pretty pretty slow, and also, yeah, 4 megabytes required, but at least it's run, so I just clear it and, and check the first game tests to see how this Verge card uh, performs, and it will be horrible. And just one quick moment on the other project, I have a Pentium 3 Socket 370 computer here and I want to test uh, many cards with it. Um, yeah, this is a PCI Sys card with 4 megabytes, but just move back and see how beautifully uh, 3D Mark 99 looks with the Verge card. Um, so the Pentium one only have uh, PCI for expansion and ISO, but yeah. I think this 4 megabytes this card would be great to run a GL Quick and some older games and yeah so you can see it's it's running but uh, not too great so also I want to show something Lego Racers other 3D games just not working nothing really <laughs> um, I tried many drivers and even if it runs um, basically not really and it's UD 2004 demo because it's really small, the DVD version would be too big for this uh, hard drive so I'm using the demo which is actually people are playing capture the flag in the face map and I tried it and I, I, 
That's great. So I will use the Pentium 3 uh, PC with a CP of 6, uh, 67 megahertz uh, Pentium 3, a 4 megahertz, uh, 400 megahertz uh, Celeron, and also um, a 600 and an 800 megahertz CPU. This will be the max I'm, I'm having here now. If I find my nicer box, uh, I can show to you. I have a Sunburst Arrive. I will use it for the. Um, yeah, for the Pentium 3 PC, and I hope I haven't bent the pins, but I have the, the Pentium 3 class so I have 370 CPUs here, so yeah, and I'm having the GeForce uh, um, the TNT2, the GeForce 2 Pro, and the uh, GeForce 3 here uh, you remember from the Pentium 4 test, and I'm having the the GeForce 4 somewhere so and also I have um, the later uh, um, um, S3 cards the Trio 3D uh, here three different uh, versions of it and yeah Trio 3D 2X and I want to see if it's better than in the actual watch card um, so this will be a challenge in UT 2004 so they're trying to, to boot it does, but it's extremely so slow if you knew the system requirements. So uh, we can go into the menu and um, if I'm extremely lucky, I can bring up the console and say stat FPS. Sorry about the camera, and you will see that we are having uh, extremely high uh, zero. Uh, frame rate, which which is awesome for this machine, because <laughs> it it starts, it boots, and sometimes it can go up to one frame per second, which is great. I was able to set everything in the menus to the absolute lowest. But whatever I do, uh, if I want to load up uh, a match, even a simple bot match, instant action, it tries to load, loads, 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 and then out of memory, unable to reserve. But it starts OD 2004 in the Pentium MMX 64 megabytes RAM and with this watch card. It's, a, it's just a very cool and I think it's an amazing thing. So it was a pretty long video, I guess. Um, I hope it was interesting showing you as many stuff um, as I can. And um, for the next few months, if you have any great ideas what to install, what to test out, and so on, um, I have this hardware around and uh, I want to test uh, the games and everything. For the Pentium 3, I will use uh, a dual boot setup, I think 98 and 2000, because in 2000 you can use GPU Z and uh, other uh, nice software, some even modern games. and. The big comparison would be to the Pentium 4 uh, machine is that you were able to see that the TNT card was actually sometimes faster than the GeForce 2 uh, just because of the Pentium 4 3 GHz was really fast doing the transform and lighting and and the, these cards were not that big help with a strong CPU but a slower 400 or 800 megahertz uh, Pentium 3 or Celeron uh, a decent graphics card would be a great, great improvement. Um, yeah, this is uh, acid there to to remove the the yellow uh, thing, which is um, partially was really good. It's like uh, I don't know um, from cigarettes, you know, nicotine, yellow stuff, and also the plastic from that age is is uh, uh, aging. Oh, and I have the usual display I just brought here um, capable of the 1280 by 1024 and and 75 Hertz uh, nice uh, VGA and DVI input so I will use this display maybe it's brighter it's yeah it's better for my eyes and and I'm just keeping this uh, thing because it's a vintage uh, vintage <laughs> I wonder <laughs> I really like the CRTs uh, in the other PC room setup stuff. I will uh, use a large 19-inch Bellinia, and yeah, that will be cool as well. And quick look in the drive. This is the main rig. I will show this uh, once 
Uh, yeah, I'm sure I do one day. And of course, I'm using the vintage stuff, but for fun. <laughs> I'm just having a GTS 1080. Uh, and um, and I have the Core i7 uh, 6700K uh, CPU. Just clocked at 4.2, 32 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, where Mother Creative uh, SunCloud, which is the well, I will look for it. But yeah, later I show that as well. So thank you so much for for watching and please tell me in the comment section what you want to see in the upcoming videos and please like and subscribe if you like this kind of thing things. So thanks once again and bye bye.